Hello there. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sense and Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I do hope you are doing well in this time. Thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. We're going to get into some general messages for you. So because these are general messages, they may not all apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest, let them fly. All right, so welcome in. Breathe with me here. So we're going to take a look at some of your gifts. Some of your gifts. Hmm. Endurance. I feel like you may not even know this that your gift is like you can weather the storm survival healing but it's not just healing it's being one that gets through the storm you have that stability or that girt that sense about you energy is of sin by the sailor that kind of vibration What does it mean? Like, even if you get lost, you're going to find your way home anyway. So feel like you have space for a lot of things. Like, people may pour their emotions into you. Like rainwater falling. You're like the vessel or the space that can hold it. Even when it hurts you, you still are able to hold it together you may feel like you have not found your way <laughs> I'm laughing because you're almost there but you don't know that I know you're a survivor but you're quarreling and you're cussing and it's rough but it's like it's tearing you apart but you still have humor so it's almost like you know it's a game like it's not it's hurting your character but not your soul so you may not be aware of your gifts because you haven't seen them yet or felt them because you're still living in it like the character you're not realizing you're playing that role right your gift has a lot to do with feelings and perception anger anxiety frustration isolation i feel like you kept a lot of yourself to yourself i feel like the time that you do spend alone is time when you're your energy but it feels like a chemical or a medicine can be released in you for your healing oh <laughs> it's very simple really you know it's, it's like maybe you're an introvert and you just need alone time to recuperate but that felt so huge phew the messages because i felt it as you I felt it as literal energy in your body that when you're alone that is on, that is when it awakens so that could be what it is maybe it is suppressed because when you're around others there's like a lot of other feelings and emotions because you're a sensitive being so you keep to yourself and so when you're by yourself it's that's when the ear power really rises up I'm getting the energy of someone that has powers. That's you. And um, the six are hard. It's something about maybe maybe one time your powers were revealed when you were younger, your gifts, and then they were shunned. Or something about your happiness or your love, and I feel like I feel you in a corner. 
with like huddled up in a corner i'm wondering why that is so maybe shame closet so when you're you're in that place that closet you're asleep it feels as if you're hibernating and you need to wake up you know it's the energy of someone going <gasps> waking up but but it's like you're going to be getting fluid that's waking you up Like you're going to get some saline and that's what's going to help you to wake up. Oh, it, it has something to do with the six of hearts, the saline. It feels like that's the saline that you're getting that's waking you up to now. It's like water, like maybe um, someone almost drowned before, like water coming off of your chest, waking up, like almost dying and waking up. Vibration. Having to do with water, because the Six of Cups is water. What happened to you? Water is also memory. So if we say you were drowned by water, Maybe your memories were suppressed and as you wake up, spill water, you become aware of self, self-awareness. It has something to do with the three of swords that we first saw. I remember in the beginning we were also talking about Sinbad the sailor, you know Sinbad, he's a sailor, having to do with water energy as well. It's how you manage our captain the ship upon the ocean to stay afloat what is that the emotions your sensitivity you know <laughs> it's almost as if you know everything you know everyone and it sometimes drowns you you know what i mean like when you're in crowded or around a lot of emotions it makes you feel like you're drowning so maybe when you're by yourself, you can wake up. And also your spirit, sorry. Oh my goodness. Eye contact. Also your, your natural essence is able to flow through you when you are alone. Why? Something having to do with the ocean and the stars. It's almost like you can f sense the stars better at night. At night feels quiet. Maybe you can listen more to your intuition that way when you are by yourself. But what does that have to do with your gift? Because your gift, you are a sailor. What does that mean? You are supposed to move through the sky. You may think you're looking for something, but your true mission is to move through the sky. It's the energy of a parable or something like that. Where this person, their only mission is to move through the sky. They don't know why. And they're moving through the sky on a boat, on a ship. And they don't really know why, but this person is having like a crisis feeling. Why am I doing this? Why do I do this? Where am I heading? But there's no, they're really going nowhere. The only mission is to traverse through the sky. There's really nowhere to go. And then when this person realizes, oh, it makes them feel happier as well. You know, like they find that all they have to do is enjoy the journey. Yes. There's nothing to find out. There's really no destiny or mission. It's just about the journey through the sky on this ship. <sighs> okay, so that's like a lot of waking up. Yeah, somebody woke up to that. <sighs> okay. All right, so now that you know this, because, you know, the six of hearts is connection to your true self. 
it's almost like it's healing your childhood self as well as like your memories, your feelings. <sighs> Child, it's a lot. I, this is bigger than this is esoteric. This vision. So let's see what's the outcome. You first. Peace of heart. So the mission is. The mission is love. I don't know. You're on the stream of love. Maybe you're on the stream of love. As if you're on the love stream. <laughs> Cups energy wants more water. That's God's love in heaven possibly i'm seeing stars i'm seeing the milky way it's not amazing i can see all of that but i'm looking at some playing cards like oh all right so and there's there's you're coming into some new love as well new new fresh 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 love fresh love you know this is when you get up When you get up from the tower energy, from the from what ended, what collapsed, and start looking, creating a new vision forward. All right, so I feel like you learned something about your emotions, but did I do enough to? The highest you can attain for right now is to align with your inner self, your childhood self, and to connect with your soulmates. And some people, someone may be coming back to you or new people coming around to you that is your soul family. A lot of new love energy. Oh. You've reached a part in this journey where you're coming, yeah. You're going to find a lot of new people coming toward you. Familiarity. Because I'm getting the energy where you reach up some place in space where you're among stars and it feels familiar like family like roots and the energy is even easier on you you're more settled it's so beautiful like your ship is just slowed like just is drifting in this new space if there weren't any stars before you were just blasting through no, there are stars to where you are. You're like easing in. Like you've arrived in a city, perhaps, of lights. You know what I mean? It's a different vibration here. A lot of light. You feel good here. You feel like... You've been journeying for a while to get here. <laughs> Listen, this can be internally, an internal space where you're coming to find love for yourself. The Ace of Hearts is self-love vibration. It's like you're coming, your ship has arrived home. You know what I mean? Like you've left home, the prodigal son returns. But there's no party, it's just you. What are we talking about? Your gifts. Your gifts could have to do with traveling, writing, healing, weathering the storm, sailoring. Sailoring feels like being able to follow your true intuition because you're so sensitive and you pick up from the atmosphere, from memories and water and emotions. You're a bearer of water. You're like a library, a keeper of books. You are meant, you are the cardinal sign. You know what I mean? You're cardinal. Your essence is necessary for the continuation and the progression of life itself. Right? The 10. 
of Pentacles. This feels like a lot of stars that you're coming into. So like a new dream, a lot of wealth too. Because this city feels, it's like going to Las Vegas. You know what I mean? <laughs> feels like there's wealth here. I don't know if you might get into trouble. What's gonna happen? You're going to run into someone. You're going to bump into somebody. Maybe someone from your past. And what's gonna happen? Something about your feelings. Your intuition, your suspicion. You see, we started with the Ten of Swords, right? Wanting to find out what your gifts are. And now you are aware. Like you realize these things with the Ten of Pentacles. And these gifts are going to bring you wealth too. When you enter into this world of maybe wealth, receiving wealth, sharing your gifts... There may be someone that's watching out for you, maybe an opposition, maybe a challenge, maybe someone that wants to block you or be like, hey, what are you doing here in this city of wealth? Whatever it is, after you've realized your visions, your visions are your gifts. But there is somewhere for you to get. I was saying there is nowhere for you to be, but this city could be that place. The Ten of Pentacles could be the place where you wanted to get to the city of the stars. Something is here for you in this city. And you may, f this challenge is automatically set up to guide you. Because maybe it's this person is, as soon as you enter the city, whatever this is, maybe when you start sharing your gifts, someone is going to come up to you. And you're going to challenge you, put some, put something toward you. It's almost like the gatekeeper, the troll that asks a riddle. And you are going to have to choose right. You already know the answer to this. That's why you're here. You're going immediately after someone. Mm -hmm. you, you see this person now. They're in the crowd and they're walking away and they're following you're, you're actually in a hurry after them. But why are you doing that? Did you come here for this person? I feel like you feel like you came here for this. I'm not sure if, I feel like you, I'm not sure if you're going to find this person. Like if you're gonna catch up to them You know what's coming to mind? <laughs> Knocking at the door for the answer to find that you are the one you're waiting for. Or you are the one that answers the door. The king of hearts, the king of swords is the king of hearts. Looking for something, the reflection, and then you wind up finding it's, it's been you. Like a mirror. Because when you run up to this person and they turn around you, that's when it stops. Because you realize what? It's almost like you realize this whole city is I don't want to say it is a fake or a sham but you realize this whole city is something it's like the matrix uh -oh. so then what you are to follow your heart there's something else it is at this point we decide
we decide you decide it's how you respond to thinking that this is the last or this is it it's how you respond or react this is now we're talking about even to this message like this is it this is all a sham it's the matrix it's how you respond to it something about that is there something else for you to see in this city there's something about this ten of pentacles here it's going to stand out evidently to you and it has to do with this person that you are running after they have the answer but maybe it's just not what you thought it was so now they're going to show you something into behind the scenes and you made a choice what do you choose do you choose to see well I do feel like you choose to leave and go okay, I don't know oh boy I don't know remember that all is within you